you guys welcome back to my channel today's video is very exciting because i am going to be making a recipe binder i literally just saw this the other day on youtube on this girl's channel i think her name is allison yeah her name is definitely allison i don't know her last name but i'll link her channel down below but she made this like really cute recipe binder well she bought it off etsy and then she just added her recipes to it so i thought it would be a good idea to just make one from scratch so that's what i'm gonna do in today's video for you guys i thought this would be very cute to have and and very handy because oftentimes I'll make a really good recipe and then I won't like save it so next time I like want to have that recipe again it's literally just gonna be from memory and sometimes I can't get it right the second time so it'd be nice to just have it in a recipe book so I thought it'd be fun if I took you guys along with me to pick out all the supplies and whatnot for the recipe binder and then I will show you kind of how I write out my recipes and how I'm gonna keep it organized I think I'm gonna go to either hot Hobby Lobby or Target, I haven't decided yet. I know Target would probably have everything, but Hobby Lobby's kind of on my way home right now. I might try Hobby Lobby first, and then if they don't have everything I need, then I'll go to Target. Okay, you guys, I'm very excited because I found some goodies at Target. I was feeling a little discouraged after my trip to Hobby Lobby because they had a bunch of cute stuff, but it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. And they actually have this really cute recipe book that I'll insert here for you guys to see. But I felt like that would defeat the whole purpose of this video, so I did not buy it. And it was actually kind of cheap. It was like $12. I wanted to make it from scratch, so I decided to not get anything at Hobby Lobby. And honestly, that store kind of stresses me out because everything is like all over the place and I never know how to find things. Anyways, so I went to Target and I'm glad I did because I found this really cute binder. I don't know what it is with me in this color lately, but I'm obsessed with it. As you could tell, I'm wearing it right now, but it's like a felt material. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna like put recipes on here or if I'm even gonna do that. And it has this cute little like flower pattern on the inside. I think that was only like $5, so it wasn't too bad. I'll show you guys the ones that I was like debating between, but that pink one, I almost got it. It, but I realized it was $15 so I was like uh, maybe not. I also just picked up these sheet protectors for the inside because I'm gonna write the recipes on plain paper and then put the sheet protectors over so that way I can just take one out when I need to make one of the recipes so that way I don't have to open the whole binder. That was kind of my whole purpose on getting a binder instead of a notebook because I knew that when I'm cooking I literally spill shit everywhere. Every time I'm using a cookbook I have the cookbook open and I always get some type of oil on the cookbook. All my cookbooks get ruined so hopefully this prevents that from happening. For each recipe page, I'm just keeping it simple by using some printer paper and then some highlighters and pens that I already have at home. The first recipe that I'm doing is my oatmeal bites that I've made a couple times. How freaking cute are these pastel pens? They all have black ink, but I just thought the colors were so cute. I got these off of Amazon. I'll definitely link them down below for you guys. But basically, I'm just going over the lettering and putting cursive in the middle. I used to do this a lot in high school, and I thought it made the writing look a lot cuter. And then I'm just writing out the ingredients. And then I'm just writing out the directions on how to make them. This part was a little bit harder because I kind of just had to remember how to do it. I don't know if you guys ever look at recipes on blog posts, but they're usually like 2,000 words long. And I'm definitely not doing that here. I'm just writing a very simplified version of the recipe. This next one I'm doing is a Mediterranean chickpea salad. I'm trying to just do like a few different recipes that I have that I can remember off the top of my head or ones that I have actually on my Instagram. So I can kind of just copy the recipe that I posted on there. But I definitely want to add at least one recipe a month or maybe two or three to this binder. Definitely let me know if you guys want any of these recipes. Thank you. 
A few of these recipes, like the chia seed pudding one that I'm about to do, I definitely can remember these off the top of my head when I'm going to make them and I don't need to look at a recipe, but I thought that it would be cool to have these in my binder so that way if anyone ever, say it passes down to one of my children or like even grandchildren in the future, it'd be nice for them just to be able to use this recipe since I love it so much and I eat this like all the freaking time. probably thinking what the hell is a space bar it's basically like a healthy version of a Reese's peanut butter cup and Alex said they look like space so I was like um let me just call them space bars because they are in the shape of a bar I don't know I thought it was kind of funny and now I'm just putting each page in a plastic sheet protector that way I can kind of just take it out of the binder and use each recipe when I need them that way I don't have to have the whole binder open when I'm making a recipe because I tend to spill things and every cookbook that I've ever had has gotten stains on it because I'm cooking with it open. I also decided to put some dividers in between the recipes that way I could categorize them for like breakfast, lunch, and dinner and desserts. I also got these cute little baking stickers off Amazon. Again, I'll have everything linked down below for you guys if you want to recreate this. They're just so cute and pastel and sparkly. I also decided to print out some pictures of each recipe. So all of these recipes I've actually made in the past, so I did have pictures of them. Some of the pictures are not the best, but I tried here. I just wanted to make it visually appealing so if someone goes to make one of these recipes, they can kind of see what it's going to look like. And I just used regular paper to print these. I kind of wish I did like photo paper so that way they would look a little bit better, but you get the idea. This one I thought was kind of ridiculous because of my face, but it's fine. And then this is the only one that was like a baking recipe, so I decided to put a little hand mixer on there. I thought it matched really well. Yeah, this is the recipe book all complete. I'm actually very proud of this and I hope that I keep it up and add some more recipes to it. Okay, you guys, that is going to be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know if you want me to share any of these recipes with you because I totally will. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.